Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. So, if you watched the last video where <laughs> Candace got really mad about someone using her photos and descriptions and titles and titles <laughs> and basically her whole life <laughs> <laughs> on eBay, and how many listings was it? Seven. Yeah, it was six individual dolls and the six pack because there's so, a picture of the six pack on our bench. <laughs> right. Um, the the person did re respond to us. So I don't and... I don't know. Did we tell them? I, Lonnie messaged her, them because I think I was too emotionally invested and I didn't want to be ugly. So Lonnie Lonnie messaged on my behalf <laughs> and asked them, you know, to. I didn't exactly ask them to take it down. I just let them know that we th we knew that they they use our photos, our descriptions, our title, our our life. <laughs> yeah, and um, I it wasn't it was like I thought like the person that did it didn't actually think or know it was a big deal. They didn't see anything wrong. With they didn't see anything I wrong really with don't it. Think it. I don't Maybe. think so either. Yeah. So I don't think it was a case of like intentional malice. Right. I think they just didn't understand like why somebody would not you know be okay with that they they apologized um they like sincerely apologized they took it down they ended their listings they're gonna redo the photos yeah. so all is good yeah we reached out they they responded and they were i think they were pretty graceful in the way they handled it yeah too. they could have so, been very defensive and right and, and, and that didn't happen so everything's good yeah all good all, all's good. Candace is fine. Are you? Okay? I'm not emotionally scarred anymore. <laughs> Candace is. Just, she she takes a lot of pride in her work as far as the photos go. Sometimes I take a little too long on my listings, but I try to get them as good as I can. You know. Right. And yeah, it just I felt violated. <laughs> I know. I get it. If it, you felt like something got stolen from you, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, but the part the the other seller they were. They were very nice and um, very accommodating. Yeah, they were good. Everything's fine. Yep. So, and honestly, I don't think we could. If they wouldn't have been, we would just let it go anyway because there's nothing there's we could. There's nothing we can do. eBay, there's nothing we could have done about do it. wouldn't do anything about it. So. No, because of the. All the, eBay says is you can ask them to take them down. Yeah. <laughs> that's and all they say. That's but, what it says. It, yeah. it doesn't say anything like contact us if they don't or anything right. because or we'll report them or whatever. Right. Just because says, the truth is, eBay wants to steal your photos too. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> they but can't. They can't tell it's someone else they can if they're doing it. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's in their terms. Mm -hmm. We can steal your photos. Yeah. And so can anybody else. So anyways, that's all sorted out. And we have, I think, 15 orders going out today. Yeah. I think they're all smalls, which I kind of appreciate today. Uh, I got new listings up yesterday because I, I was packing all day. Right. You know. uh, I got all those shoes listed, so that helped our numbers tremendously. Yeah. Oh, no. Candace listed a bunch yesterday. Well, you listed one thing. I listed one thing, and I sold one thing. I yeah. was 100%. And I listed a couple of other things, and then I, uh, I started, like, we had so many of these extra Monster High just loose in here. We did take some of the storage, but the ones that I kept here, um, so we're not having to go to storage, like, every day, I, I decided to go ahead and start wrapping them up and packaging I know, them up. it's not fun it's not bad it's really not the worst part is like getting them out of the box right but once they're kind of like even like this it's a lot easier to handle them when i get to this point this is the trickiest one because her hair is like i gotta pull it out from the, make sure under you don't here. cut it and with their hair you gotta i'll take the box knife and go through and then this flag is in the way so i have to flip it up it's just it's not fun. I'm glad. I, yeah, I started off saying it's not fun, and you kind of, and then you're like, it's not that bad. And then by the at the end of describing it, you said it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun, but it's really not bad. It's, yeah. I mean, it's we're, tedious. We're, yeah. So basically, it's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we had some good razor sales. Not just good, but we sold a lot of razors. We sold five razors. Yeah. To three different people, I think. Yeah, I'm excited about that. And one of them is, at least one of them is a repeat buyer of razors. Yes. Yeah. So we're definitely into that niche. Well, and well, the one person bought two, and yep. another person bought two, and then we had a separate person buy. So the first order has R9. 
This is a Jim Jr. with a Bakelite Fat Boy handle. Yep, that looks right to me. $13.49. And then the other one is R26. It's a Jim Brass plug proof in the case. Okay. $13.49. And that's both going to the same person there. Yes. Okay. All right, we have a comic book on one Charlie J34. Man, I hadn't pulled a comic book in a little while, huh? Yeah. Oh, flipped right to it. I actually have two different two copies of the same comic. Man, this one this one is clean. <whistles> 20 cent little kids comic. Ten dollars and seventy-nine cents now. Okay. Did you cross post comics? Uh yeah. Yeah, the comics are on Macari. I haven't actually sold a comic on Macari yet. Alright, the next razor is R23. It's a Gillette Somerset open comb, $45. It's a Gillette who? Somerset open comb. Okay, so got it. it. a little open like, mm -hmm. legs or whatever comb. Yep. What do we get for that one? 45 Oh, that's an expensive one. Yeah. Oh, I would have handled it more delicately. <laughs> Why'd you shave with it yesterday then? I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, MU8, we have three um, high position tapes maxell and iec2 yeah these are the things i listed this is the only thing i listed yesterday was that a lot of tapes they sold for 22 yeah that came in a case of tapes that i got for two dollars at a church sale mm -hmm. and i can sell the other tapes too but i talked about that yesterday yeah so. all right we have a, a baseball card okay. jose fernandez uh one delta u51 Juan Delta, U51. I know. As soon as I started walking, I was like, wait a second. That ain't right. Juan Delta. Yeah, that... That's the guy that... Uh, that's the guy that died, like, super young. He was a good player, too. What we get for that? Uh, we got four dollars and forty nine cents. Okay. Uh, we have two Clio denials going out. If you want to go ahead and grab both of them, they're on five Bravo. Five Bravo. Boy, it's going to be a fast packing day for me. Yep. They each sold for twelve dollars and fifty nine cents. CC twelve Estes. Model Rocket 1286. Estes. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. CC 12. 1286. Open bag. Never built. Scamp. Scamp. Yeah. New old stock. Vintage level one flying model rocket. Got it already, Candace. <laughs> Good stop now. <laughs> $50 for that one. Man. Wow. We need to find like a whole. A whole 18 wheeler full of vintage SDs <laughs> model rockets, huh? Man, yeah. those things are awesome. Now, this is interesting. We sold two dog harnesses back to back, two separate people. And, uh, they're not, and they don't appear to be related. I don't know. Um, we'll see if they're going near the same right. place. They're on four Fox Trot, both small brown ones. Okay. Yeah, it'd be easier from the other side. Huh? I forgot we had those bike pedals back there. I think that's uh, I think that's one of the things that ain't never gonna sell. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why I didn't go this way. I have these boxes blocking it. It's all right, slide them out the way. Two of them, huh? That should be the last of them. I think that is. Like we thirteen each. I think we sold like. Five, four or five of these Martha Stewart's now. Five, yeah. I think. Yeah. That's all Kevin and Danielle buy stuff there, too. Yep. All right. And they sold... Man, that is weird how they sold so close together. The same exact size. It was color. within five minutes. Right. It was, I said, told Lonnie, I wonder if eBay was promoting them off-site somewhere. You oh, know? No, man. That's odd. Yeah. Um, CC10 M2 Machines model kit. It's a Ford Mustang Shelby. Said ten, right? CC ten, yeah. Okay, yeah, I got it right here. 
Yeah. That's all for thirteen forty nine. That's cool. It's got like a lift built into it yeah. or something, and it's got all these different tires and wheels. It's got a tool to change them. That's kind of fun looking. Hmm. And then the last two items are the ra two razors, um, okay. razor three and eighteen. They're both shovel heads. Three. R3, R18, let me see, do they look like shovel heads? Uh, yeah, they're both the same, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm thinking this person probably actually is gonna use them to shave. Look at my photos, they are just almost identical. <laughs> look. Too you would think it's the same thing I until know. you like, <laughs> the angle's the same. Yeah. Wow. Are the handles the same? Cause this one looks a little shinier. And uh, it might just be how the light caught it for that photo. I don't know. Here, take a look. Yeah, they're the same. See how they have these flat edges? So mm -hmm. the light was probably just hitting one differently. I can't believe you got the angle the exact same though. <laughs> like it looks like down to the tenth of a degree. Those sold for nine dollars each. Okay, so that's all the eBay stuff going out, and then we have one oh, Macari one order. Macari. All right, we sold um, some Albert Pujol cards, like a little lot of them. They even like the Pujol on. Um, Makari. Makari. Makari yeah. likes poo hole. They bought five poo holes. <laughs> uh, okay, we won't go down the poo hole. Did you get a message about that or an offer or something? Yeah, we got an offer. I had them listed at 18 plus ship and um, they offered 15. And I can't see not selling a poo holes, poo hole for $15. Yeah. It's actually these. Um, this whole little set. Now, Mercari has the um, the cheaper shipping options for cards and stamps and whatnot. What is the, what is the limit on? It's the same. It's, it's twenty dollars and twenty dollars max. Well, they say they say it's guaranteed or whatever up to twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. They maybe they let you use it past that, but you're not covered for over twenty dollars. I'm not sure about that. Okay. And then uh, it's three ounces. It's It looks like it's the exact same service yeah. as eBay standard envelope. They just don't call it eBay standard envelope for right. obvious reasons. It's a Mercari <laughs> standard Macari envelope. Mercari standard envelope. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got 15 plus ship for that. I've been enjoying the heck out of Mercari. I love Mercari. Yeah. I really do. I wish we sold more there. Yeah. Like, I, I like the way it's so, it feels very casual there. It does. And the people are friendly. They are. They're friendly, and um, they—they're just—they—they they love the good shipping and packing and stuff. No, we yeah. So a lot of comments about how well things were packed. Right. I feel like I almost feel like the we have like a big upper hand on Macari because we do know how. Yeah, because we are not a casual seller. Right. Because when they order from us, I think they're kind of surprised how fast the order gets out, how well it's packed, how it's exactly what we said it was. Right. And I, they seem to be like pleasantly surprised, which leads me to believe that a lot of times they're disappointed on Macari. Yeah. Yeah. Which you will be with a casual, with you know, ca I, casual seller is not like, uh, we're not taking a jab at anybody. It's just, if you don't do something for a living or do it a lot or you're not experienced with it you're not going to be good at it I got, yeah i've ordered a lot of um like vintage glassware stuff in the past and a lot off of macari and i can't tell you how many things are I've broken it's so aggravating what was your experience like whenever it would arrive broken what would happen then uh one time it was like this oh, this was horrible it was like these these whole uh, little set of barware glasses and they just wrapped each of them in a newspaper and just threw them loosely in the box, just threw them in there, my and then, God. then put some paper around them. It was horrible. And um, I didn't, I got my money back, but it was disappointing because I had been searching for this right. set. And um, to th the way I look at it, this thing has survived all these years, like from the 50s. But it couldn't survive on Macari Cellar. Yeah, Macari Cellar was just that was careless the end of it. and lazy with it. And <laughs> throwing this thing that survived all these years. Yeah, and, and, and trust, I understand that there's many more bad sellers on ebay just because there's more sellers on ebay yeah. but uh yeah. i think there's just a lot more like mm. you know oh i got this thing in my room i want to get some money it's for it like facebook marketplace garage right. sale yeah. all right all packages are out we're completely caught up we actually made a we actually made two mercari sales this morning candace two monster high 
Oh, it's another monster hunt. You saw it. I, I got this. Dracula. One thing I like about Macari is that you could put your um, you could put your phone number in, and every time I every time we sell something on Macari, I get a text message. Oh, cool. I like that. Yeah. Because like we don't sell stuff there every day, so it's right. good that we get that little reminder. To be aware of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, that's our last Dracula in the building, so. All right, well, we got to go get more. There is one more up there, but I like to have at least one on each platform, you yeah. know? Oh, that was what sold was the Dracula? Yeah. Okay, good. So that's like 45 in sales Yeah. on Macari. Yeah. And we haven't sold anything on eBay this morning yet. Well, actually, I think a couple of the orders I shipped. The razors, the two razors. The two razors, yeah. the last two razors were eBay. Yeah. We had... Um, These two cheap um, hair roller sets we bought i'm sure you know candace i'm sure since we always get it wrong i'm sure it's it's kai or, or, or chai, chai. <laughs> or something i'm sorry go ahead um so they're really like they're really like high end or i don't know they they emit this blue light when you plug it in and it's supposed to sanitize them we think they're they're like for um hairstylists to use to kind of help sanitize between clients um so we had two sets and um this one is great worked great the other one we plugged in and one of the rollers was not getting hot yep um we kind of lonnie opened it up and looked. i just at wanted it. to look i was just curious because it, he likes to look at wiring and stuff well i just wanted to see how it was made and then yeah. plus i was like well how would this individual one not work and after i opened it up i still didn't understand because yeah. there were three there's a diode on there's a track there's a trace a big thick heavy trace on each on the circuit board under each one of these and on this side there's a diode 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 feeding each rail and so the whole rail should be out not just one. if there was a bad component right. i didn't see any bad solder joints i didn't see any burnt components yeah so i don't understand so he he, <laughs> he jiggled it around and put it back together we plugged it in and it worked i said okay let me wait till tomorrow we'll plug it in one more time i need to see it working at least twice before yeah. i'm gonna sell it Plugged it in this morning. It's not working. Actually, two of them were not working yeah, this morning. Yeah, I actually made it worse. Yeah. So that unit is gone, but we are going to sell the extra bag, clips, and rollers out of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm making one good set and then one spare set. So we'll still probably have like $70 or so in sales from the oh, fifth yeah. from the 15 Because yeah. this is going to sell for 50 Yeah. And then, shoot, they sell just... A little box of three of these retail mm -hmm. for like 20 bucks so they're not cheap to replace so we you, could probably get like 30 huh probably so like i didn't know with the bag and the other thing is there are no actives and in 90 the last 90 days nobody has sold like extra rollers and stuff so if anybody needs them ours are gonna i think they'll sell pretty quickly. oh i think they will too yeah. it just blows my mind that thing was broken because it's so simple and they look like they've barely been used. Right. Like maybe one time, you know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I still so, don't get it. But uh, yeah. Uh, are you done with the photos? No. No. Okay. I have a really funny story. I think it's pretty. I think it's funny. Uh, that I want to share with y'all. Can I finish my listing? Yeah, finish that listing, yeah. and then we'll we'll talk about this story. Okay. All right. Ready for story time? Yeah. Tell me all about it. You already know. <laughs> I was in the bathtub. Starts with me in the bathtub. Yeah, Lonnie takes baths. Go ahead and get the uh, jokes out of the way. Are you so? Or wait, you seem a little ashamed of that. It's uh, still like, I, I mean, I do too. I take both, but uh, I know you always you always catch hell whenever you talk about taking. You're a bath. bathing your in your own filth. Yeah, because we get so sweaty and dirty out here in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I was taking a bath, and um, the I get an alert on my phone because yeah, I'm looking at my phone in the bathtub okay go ahead judge me i don't care you want to judge me there ain't nothing wrong with that okay soak it in the tub yes yeah all right so anyway in the bath looking at my phone and all of a sudden i get a uh notification on ebay with a return request and i'm like oh groan you know like my heart always sinks whenever like, i what what is it what, what is it this what, time what did i do what I do now. What are they doing to me? <laughs> right. It's never good, right? Yeah. So, um, thankfully, it was on a, a low-cost item. It's a collector plate. 
uh, I'll show it here, that we sold for $11.69 plus shipping. And we got a bunch of these collector plates. It's not something we actually seek out to buy. Uh, this was one time Guy. They were in a big buy from Guy. Right. And I didn't want them, but it was like, I basically, we didn't pay anything for them yeah. for the most part. Like, yeah. or very little. Uh, we've actually we've actually made money on them over the yeah, past. Yeah, they, they slow. They sell very slow, but they do sell eventually. They do, and every now and then, like we'll have somebody buy like five or six of them or something, yeah. right? And like they have moved. I, could you imagine if you sold? We still have about what thirty left or yeah. something. Could you imagine if you it were exclusively sold collector plates on eBay? Uh, you would have to be doing that for part time work. You. you or you would have to have like a million, million plates, I know. <laughs> a warehouse full with nothing but collector plates. This yeah. sounds like such a nightmare, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so, um, let, 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 let me open up the, uh, return case. So, uh, got the return case, uh, opened it up and I get this picture and I'm like, oh man, the thing broke. And, um, but immediately it looked, something looked a little off to me. Uh, about it now the there were no, there was no text or anything in the um return case it just said item not as described or something like that yeah and um they showed they showed that picture there which you could see they sent a message huh? and then no i sent a message okay. because like they did a return and it got automatically approved so i something like that you want to get out in front of because uh you don't want them to ship you back a broken collector plate that was worth $11.69. Perfect condition, broken, it's absolutely worthless. No right. no value. Can't sell it for parts. No, I don't. Yeah, parts. <laughs> plate. Collector plate. Parts only. <laughs> As is. Parts only. <laughs> uh, but, um, what was, that? what was I saying? Free tube of Dollar Tree super glue included. All right. <laughs> But, um, so you messaged them to see what was going on. Well, no, I, I messaged them to let them know. Uh, well, I'll, I'll put the message here. Sorry about the plate. I will refund it just a bit. No need to send it back. That's the whole reason I was getting in front yeah. of it. I texted this from the tub, I think. Uh, I'm curious. I was naked when I texted this. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, was, Stop. I was texting somebody about a collector plate while I was naked. With pigs on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, though. Were, and it, I didn't put that apostrophe, eBay did that. They made me look dumb. Yeah. Were the other pieces from the chip in the box? Again, sorry about the damage. But, and the reason I asked that is because looking at the photo, to me, like chips happen, things break, whatever. I just thought just on first glance, that looked like an old chip to me. It looked like it's worn. Not only that, let me explain the packaging here. It's in an, an outer collector plate box and it's between styrofoam made for this plate and yes it can get broken in shipment but i told lonnie i would expect to see some cracks and stuff too not just like a piece chipped out that, that's that's weird well and and the thing is they didn't show the they didn't show the other pieces either yeah so or like the box damage or anything like this is all we got right and so they replied that's it it was packaged perfectly but was chipped I found no piece inside the box. I'm puzzled as to how that can happen. So right there, I'm like, all right, I think it's more. Uh, okay. So at that point we have, what, what are the, what are the things, the possibilities here? Range of possibilities. I think there's three. You broke it after you, after you took the pictures and didn't know you broke it. Mm -hmm. And then I packaged it back up and yeah. put it up, put it away broken. Right. Um, the viewer maybe not viewer. It's a buyer. <laughs> I don't think it's a viewer anyway. <laughs> the buyer took took it out, and there's no damage to the box because when they took it out, they might have dropped it or. Look at it. my plate! Look at my plate! Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> but I love my plate so much. Look, ah. And they damage it. Yeah. Or it's a complete scam, and they had a broken one that they're wanting replaced. Or there's another thing too. What's that? Thing? Someone, somebody from the post, it got damaged in shipping. And then somebody from the post office heard it rattling around. So they opened the package and then took out the broken parts to hide it. 
that it got broken well, it and then and then resealed it. It wouldn't have been rattling <clears throat> around because it's all encased in styrofoam. That's true. That's true. I mean, the so anyways, the basically what I came up with is that uh, there's no chance whatsoever because I remember that day when I was listing those plates. There's zero chance that I put a broken plate back into that box. Yeah, I would have. I would have seen it. And there's zero chance once I put it in there that it got broken. And that big of a chip, you would have known when you did it. Oh, man, there's no way I missed that. <laughs> and then there's also, if it got broken shipping and the packaging looked perfect, like they said, there's zero chance that that piece isn't going to be in there. It's, yeah, it's got to be. It's, I mean, if it got broken. So let me look around on the floor. <laughs> So uh, I said, uh, let me look on her leg here. So that's it. It was packaged perfectly, but it was chipped. I found no pieces in the box. I'm puzzled as to how that can happen. And I'm like, I said, yeah, me too. Because I personally photographed that plate and put it directly into the box and never touched it again until you bought it. Weird that the other piece was not in there. And in any event, I should have said event. I look dumb again. I'll refund you in about 15 minutes. Again, my apologies for what I assume is shipping damage, even though it makes zero sense. I'm I'm perplexed. Thanks, Lonnie. And then they replied, I'm sorry about this. I don't know why they are apologizing. Yeah. Sorry about what? Sorry about sorry I'm about sorry. giving me your broken plate or trying to give me your broken yeah, plate? Yeah, I, I don't know. I really wanted this plate. Thank you for your prompt attention to this. And then, you know what I did? What, what would y'all do with this? Because I, I just go, went ahead and refunded them. The eleven sixty nine put plus first class shipping. What do you think, Candace? What would you What would oh, you do? Definitely, because what are you What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gonna pay to have this thing shipped back that you can't even resell? I mean. And then, like, what are you gonna do? You gonna You gonna fight it with eBay? You can't fight it because you're not gonna win. There's a picture of a broken. There's plate. There's a broken plate. eBay's gonna say, "Yeah, it's broken." They, they're they're not gonna go into Sherlock Holmes mode and say, "Yes, but where are the other pieces?" Well, mm -hmm. Let me see the outer packaging. Was it crushed? Right. Yeah. I just like it was better just to go and then if you do that and you end up with a negative because of how you handled it or whatever then now you got to try and get that taken off too yep. and then so it was that's the thing with selling cheap stuff if it if something goes wrong you can't you have to tell yourself ahead of time I'm not going to spend an hour fighting this you know enjoy the plate whatever Here's or your money I'm gonna dry off now <laughs> yes let me get out of the tub <laughs> actually I, had, I didn't give him the money back until i mean candace i got out i got out and i went and uh went and talked to candace i did have clothes on at that point <laughs> <laughs> we had a good laugh about it and i came out here and i refunded their money to them yeah. so cool story right <laughs> so would you have made them ship it back or would you have just refunded it I think most people would just refund. I, yeah. I think you're kind of stuck. Yeah. Even though, like, if we were in a court of law, could I argue this case? Could yes, you present, absolutely. Present the evidence. Right. I think a jury would find for me in this case in most. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, <laughs> there is no chipped piece in the box. The box has no damage. Yeah. No. It, it, no. What, what did O.J. Simpson say? If the glove doesn't fit. Yeah. If the if the chip doesn't fit because you don't have it, <laughs> then you must have quit. <laughs> I, I want to see the chip before you quit. <laughs> the the chip is like the uh, the missing chip is like the murder weapon or something. Yeah, it is. So, anyway, that's my fun little story for the day. Hope y'all enjoyed. It I'm seemed like it was. It seemed like that was gonna go better than it did. Oh well. It's an interesting story. I thought it was fun. Mm -hmm. So I I don't do this very often, but. Uh, I looked at one of Candace's no, he listings. Always does. I do not. Yes, you do. I, I very you, rarely. He snoops on me. I very rarely look at your listings. Like, other than to look at like the thumbnail or something. Okay. I very rarely click into one. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. You really think I sit here and like, because I don't. Okay. But I happened to click on this one. <laughs> Just so happy. And, and I need I need to check her out a little more. I need to like keep my eye on this one because. She's a little, a little squirrely sometimes. I am not. <laughs> I did plagiarize that there. <laughs> Look, uh, after all, after that big talk yesterday, you go and steal someone's. It's off the back of the sign. Okay. All right. So look, we had this sign, right? It's, it's a repop. It's a vintage repop. But in original quality. As we'll find out. You in just will a moment. see in just a moment what I'm talking so, about. So look. 
I, I'm like, okay, yeah, all right. There's a sign, blah blah. blah. Listen, listen to Candace's description. I had to. I when I started reading, I'm like, wait, is this somebody else's listing? Am I on the right account here? What is this? Listen to this, y'all. Handmade by layering liquefied enamels onto a steel plate and kiln firing at 1,350 degrees Fahrenheit. Measures eight by eight and has a hole with a rivet at each corner for hanging. Please see photos for cosmetic condition. I like how you do the <laughs> <laughs> disclosure stuff in the fast talk. <laughs> <laughs> like a TV commercial. No, I, I imagine like when I was reading that first part, I imagine like this uh James Earl Jones. Yeah, like <laughs> you know, like a movie preview. Uh -huh. Like the narrator. <laughs> Kiln fire. <laughs> 1350. Yeah, I did not make that up. I did not look it up. It's printed on the back of the It screen. almost sounded like an old school Budweiser commercial or something after a hard day of kiln firing. <laughs> <laughs> Crack open a cold one. <laughs> So, yeah. No, I get it. And you did that so they would know that... You wouldn't have done that, huh? I would not have. <laughs> it's I want them to know it's not just a repop tin sign like you all see everywhere. It's actually manufactured the same way. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I have been working on... Well, we've been listing all kind of stuff today. It's been a... Candace had some errands she had to run for a few hours. Yeah, I finished up those rollers. I'm trying to think of what else I listed. Some odds and end things. Uh, let's see. Look, I'll show y'all. Oh, you did the big easy sign. Yeah, I did big easy sign for 45. Did some Stephen King books for 30. I did that LSU helmet was kind of cheap. Cheap. Was it? I kind of figured it was. We only paid a quarter for it. And then I did all four of my duffels. Yep. Marlboro duffels that we had. That was a big task. I'm proud of you for just doing it. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, I did tackle it. Yeah. And I actually, like, I took paper out, as you can see. It like, doesn't seem like they are, but the big one is, oh my gosh, it's a, it's, it's a monster. Well, it's three feet long. And it's, you can't, like, it's not, it's got a hard bottom. It's not like we'll be able to, like, no. fold it in half to ship it or no. store it or whatever. That it's, was part of my pricing strategy, too. Yeah. Whenever something becomes hard to pack, um, I get pretty... I get. You make them pay for it. I do. I make them pay. <laughs> You're gonna buy this. Pay. You're gonna pay for it. If, if that bag, if that big bag, would have been easier to ship, I would have probably been okay to price it 30, 30, 35, 40 bucks. But no, yeah. it's it's got to go fifty. But look, see, I took this and I just put a uh, balled up packing paper, and I stuffed it in each one of the bags, except for the big bag. I actually, we had some packing stuff come in from uh, USPS. I got to shelve that. You just put the whole box in there? I put all that pretty... No, not the big box. I put the two boxes on top. And then... Uh, oh, some Ikea bags. I balled them up. and It's big. This is the smaller one. Yeah. I The only mistake I feel like I made on that listing for the big one. Here's the big one. I don't think I captured the scale of it. No. You need, you like, you need like me holding it or something. Some, yeah, I didn't capture the scale of it I mean, it we can well. take a picture of me holding it on my shoulder or standing it. We'll, we'll see because I don't want to get it down. Yeah. Because I already bagged it and it's actually above. I mean, your title does say huge. It's huge, 36 inch. Yeah. But it, it, looks, like, it looks like a regular size duffel bag in that photo. But there's nothing to... Right, to scale. So. You should have put a banana by it. It's true. But thing you say, item not subscribed. Banana not included. I didn't get my banana. You just I put didn't... that in the description. Banana not included. <laughs> if you type in banana not included somewhere, <laughs> what are you? What have you done with your life? <laughs> I mean, backdrop not included. A workbench not included. How far do you have to go? That's true. That's true. So, good day. Good day today. I enjoyed it. Uh, slow sales so far, but it's kind of early still. It's like it's only like four o'clock. We are going to be working for another hour, or so. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna work a little later since I had to go out for. Uh, you don't have to. We, we I got, got hot dogs for dinner, so we got plenty done today. You don't have to work late. Yeah, we're good. I got a new phone and I haven't been able to take it out of the box yet. Yeah, it just got dropped off a little. Well, while that's ago. what you ought to do. Go list like another thing or two, and then take off and go set your new phone up. It's been long overdue, y'all. Yeah, well, you have the iPhone 10, right? Yeah, I use phones until they pretty much don't work anymore. <laughs> and mine, the battery just, it does not last. Yeah, you have a 10, I have an 11. 
And so is my turn. Your turn. It'll probably be my 11 still does pretty good. I'll, I'll probably try and stretch it out another year if I can. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's exciting. You excited? Yeah, but it's big. It's bigger. It's a little bigger than mine. Yeah, it's big. I'm not excited about that. Well, I'll get I, used to it though. All right. Well, I think that means with that level of uh, droning on and on, I think that that means it's time for us to sign I've off. Got nothing else to talk to y'all about. Thanks a bunch for watching. <laughs> yeah, it's a stay in the shed kind of day. Except I did go to UPS. But uh, yeah. anyways, thanks so much for watching. We will see y'all again soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.